Hey, how's it going? Today, I'm going to be talking about the Borderlands movie Twitter and how 99% of the promotional material is making the movie look worse than it already has. The specific things I wanted to talk about today are these short character introduction videos and how they are nothing like the characters in the games. I do want to say this before I get into the video, I'm in no way faulting the actors that were chosen or the lines they have to say as they're not in control of any of that. I blame the writers of this movie and whoever made the decision to cast Kevin Hart as Roland and some of the other characters like Tannis and Lilith making them both super old. I'm assuming that the people or at least most of the people behind this movie have never played the games and therefore can't really understand the characters in the movie that they're writing, which just isn't a good look. The way I'm going to format this video is talk about one post and then put it in this good or bad list. With that out of the way, let's start with the first character introduction, which is for Tiny Tina. I'm just going to let it play and then I'll talk about it after. I didn't come to Pandora to make friends. I came to make blah 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 blah! Just starting off, the first thing that I have to say about this is she says, I didn't come to Pandora to make friends. If you know anything about her character, she was born on Pandora where her and her parents were sold to Hyperion, I believe, to have slag experiments done on them. So just the implication that she came to Pandora on her own doesn't make sense to begin with. And I know I am Borderlands nerding out a little bit. This was only three seconds in. They already got something wrong three seconds in. So that, that's the only reason. The last thing I'll say before I make a decision, her outfit, if we're comparing them, you can't, the bunny, she's actually carrying a bunny instead of having it on, and it also doesn't look like she has a smile, but just a different kind of pendant, which I don't mind, but the bunny ears are what's throwing me off, because it's just like a mix of the character design between the older version of Tina, and then the much younger version, which I don't necessarily like. I'm assuming that this is between BL1 and BL2, so her having this now makes zero sense because she doesn't get it until after BL2. Okay, enough talking about Tina for now, and this Twitter post is obviously going into the bad category. Okay, the next post up is the Tannis 15 second character introduction, so I will let that play now. And set the fashion community ablaze. Goggles, bitches. What? All right, yep, yeah, pretty rough already. So Tannis is a grandma in this. She's very smart, so she probably is an expert in dead languages. Good, good start there. But then they say and a fash and set the fashion community ablaze, and then make a dumb joke about her wearing goggles. Going into the Borderlands wiki and looking at every Tannis quote she's ever said from Borderlands One, all the way to Borderlands Three. Let's just look up if she's ever talked about fashion f oh there's lots of f a s tannis has never talked about fashion or like let's see clothing yet yeah, the only thing that she said is i spent last night becoming inebriated and left 73 percent of my clothing in an undisclosed location within sanctuary she never once has said anything about fashion or clothes or anything like that so it just seems like kind of a stupid joke that thing that cleans like blood and dirt off of her face, that's super cool. That is cool. But again, Tannis going into the bad category. I'm going to touch on the Borderlands truck slightly, but I'm not going to talk about it for long because Hellfire is going to be making a video soon going over some of these Twitter posts as well. But it is real. The Borderlands truck is real. And if you want to hear more about it, watch that video whenever it comes out. I'm also on the fence about the Borderlands truck. I think it'd be super cool, but at the same time, it doesn't really look like the runners from the games. But I mean, I, I don't know how you're going to make that. It's just a replica of the Borderlands truck from the upcoming movie, I'm assuming. So this is just going to go in the neutral category. It's the only one that's going in here. Okay, now time for the White Castle collab. This is all that happens. You scan a White Castle box with your phone and then a claptrap starts disco dancing. I couldn't not mention this because this is the stupidest thing I have ever seen in my entire life. No Borderlands fan is going to go out of their way to buy White Castle frozen sliders because it has a dancing claptrap on it. And anyone who buys White Castle sliders in the first place 
also doesn't care that there's a dancing claptrap on it. And I also couldn't leave out how funny it is that Randy Pitchford is losing his mind over this White Castle thing. He thinks it is the greatest collaboration that he has ever done. And he might be joking slightly, but knowing Randy Pitchford's past, I believe that this White Castle collaboration is his greatest achievement in the back of his mind. Horrible, horrible. This is going in the horrible column. Next up is the Krieg 15 second character video. I will lick your spine clean. I honestly don't have much to say about the Krieg one. Not nearly as bad as the other ones. I honestly think that the Buzz Axe looks really cool. It's a cool design for a Buzz Axe, doesn't look that cheap, and even if it does, it's kind of meant to look like that because it's kind of like trash put together. I will say though, the Krieg mask, why? It just looks so cheaply painted, so cheaply made. The Buzz Axe though, very cool, and I like these glove hand things that Krieg has because these look very similar to how they look in the game. I'm honestly, I'm going to put Krieg in the good column because I think we need a little bit more good in there. I'm not happy to put him in the good column. I'll say that much. This is actually the first post that I've been happy to show off. This picture, I'm guessing it's just a screen grab from the movie because it looks like there might be a ship flying down towards Pandora. This is such a pretty view. The planet looks amazing, the satellite looks great. I'm very excited to see some of the backgrounds and how the actual planet looks. Especially with this one as well. This is how I would imagine Pandora to look, with these really jagged mountains, just like kind of how they look in the dust in Arid Nexus. Very cool. I'm assuming this is Elpis, the moon, and then this might be a bigger planet. I'm not sure exactly which planet that is, but I'm sure it's one you travel to in BL3. This is pretty down here. The backgrounds and areas in this movie are looking very cool. I will give it that. That one easily going in the great good column. Okay, this is easily the worst one and the one I am not excited to talk about. So this is something that the Borderlands movie reposted and it was actually posted by Latest in Space which is like a space news account, which it doesn't make sense. But when we go on here, we see the big flame of the Firehawk thing, the Firehawk thing, which means Lilith. And then it goes down to this little thing. It has been prophesized that the daughter of Iridia will return to Pandora and restore order to the planet. What? What does that mean? The daughter of Iridia. And if we look up Iridia Borderlands, nothing comes up. Aridia is not a thing. And I don't know if I'm just not deep enough into the lore of Borderlands. Aridia, the daughter of Aridia, doesn't really... I don't know if that's going to be a new plot point in the Borderlands movie, which would be horrible. But I just thought I'd mention that. Again, going into the bad column. The Roland one's up next, so let's let that play. Listen up, soldiers. Delta safety or food, but... We do have a taco night. I'm not even going to make the argument saying, haha, Kevin Hart is so small, that's why he shouldn't be Roland. It is a good point, but actually why is because I don't think Kevin Hart can be serious. Roland, I don't think cracked one joke ever across the entire franchise. And in the first 16 seconds, Kevin Hart makes this stupid taco night joke. I don't even know who I would cast to make a better Roland, but at the same time, I just don't think Kevin Hart's the man for the job. Roland, 15 second clip, bad category. This is the final character clip, and it's clap traps. So let's let's watch it. If you thought you were ready, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. I don't have many complaints for Claptrap because he's cringe in the games anyways. I do think that it it's gonna go overboard in the movie they're gonna lean too far into claptrap being cringy and it's just not gonna be funny how it is in the game sometimes and the other thing that i'm not happy at all about why didn't they just use the voice actor for claptrap i get that they want to use jack black to get oh look we have a super famous actor playing claptrap and like kevin hart playing roland and kate blanchett there's so many famous actors in this movie i will say Claptrap has probably the best character design because it actually looks like him. 
that's a plus for him. But other than that, he's going in the bad column. Another good thing I wanted to talk about was this Borderlands Mountain Dew Gaming, because there are some really cool rewards you can get from this. So I'm going to go through them real quick. I just want to highlight some of the cool ones. I looked it up, each Mountain Dew bottle gives you about 100 or 200 points. The best thing you can get is this Stream Deck Mountain Dew Elgato thing. You can get Borderlands 3, this cool movie poster, Golden Keys, but that just seems like a waste. There's this cool Claptrap koozie, which I actually really like. This Borderlands shirt's not bad either. There's a pretty cool desk mat. There's a really cool keyboard. I like this a lot. I'm not sure how good the keyboard would actually be. and. Because of that, they're selling the keycaps separately, so I bet the keycaps are probably better to put on a different keyboard. And then there's also this long sleeve shirt, it looks like. So there's some cool stuff. Aside from these Mountain Dew rewards and other things you can get, there's a few other things that you can buy at the movie theater. And Hellfire is going to be talking about those in his video, so I'll let him cover that. That's really all I have to say about the Borderlands movie Twitter. It's not looking good from my perspective, but at the same time, I really hope I'm wrong. I hope I love this movie, and I hope it adds fans to the Borderlands franchise because I think that's all we really want. It'd be fantastic if this community was stronger, there was more updates regularly, and this game was thriving how it used to be. But aside from that, I will make another Borderlands movie video after I actually see the movie, but for now, this is all I'm gonna leave you with. Hopefully the Moxie and Lilith character introductions might be a little bit better, but I don't really have high hopes for that. That's really all I have to say now, so thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think. I respond to most and I love hearing from you guys. Have a great rest of your day. See ya.